Now at 5 a.m. freezing rain through the night, creating very icy conditions in spots, particularly northwest of the city of Milwaukee. When we can expect things to get very icy in the city of Milwaukee coming up. And just like Susan and Vince mentioned, while Milwaukee's calm right now, it's not going to stay like that for much longer. Coming up in a few minutes, we'll take you through what's going on right now and what you can expect as your commute begins. Plus a hidden camera found in a gym locker room. The latest on that investigation. All the information you need to start your morning. This is TMJ4 News today. And good morning, everyone. You are watching TMJ4 News today on this Tuesday. Appreciate your time with us this morning. I'm Susan Kill. I'm Vince Petrano. People across southeast Wisconsin waking up to this winter weather advisory and new information just in on Milwaukee Public Schools. Mm -hmm. Just announcing that a couple minutes ago that sites and schools will be closed today, Tuesday, February 22nd. So we're already seeing uh, the state's biggest school district canceling classes for today because of the weather. We are bringing you live team coverage of the icy conditions out on the roads today. Brian Disnansky and Adriana Mendez, as you see, are in house with us, keeping an eye on today's forecast and your morning commute. We also have Andrea Albers and Elaine Rojas Castillo out and about to bring you the latest on the action outside. And we're going to start things off with Brian and he's tracking these. Yeah. Well, I want to say like this is not like a big line of storms. You got a little bit here and a little yes. bit there and a little bit there. The radar, you, you see yeah. these little heavier showers in between. There's still a little bit of drizzle and mist this morning. Now, if you are waking up to just wet pavement, which many of you are in the city of Milwaukee down towards Racine, Kenosha, you may be thinking, hey, this isn't bad at all. That will be changing winter weather advisory until 6 p.m. this evening for all of southeastern Wisconsin. We're going to watch the temperature fall just another degree or two, and that will allow everybody to see the freezing rain. Not much on the radar right now. Again, where we do have the scattered heavier showers, it does come down pretty good. In between there, just a little bit of sprinkle action or drizzle. Watching maybe our worst conditions right now in Franklin, an indication here of a little brief, heavy freezing rain shower. It changes over to just rain over towards Oak Creek. Let's go farther southwest. Look at this. This is thunderstorm activity across northern Illinois. And I, I got an indication here that I think this is going to hold together enough that we are going to see some thunder and lightning here in southeastern Wisconsin and this will again as it hits the colder air change over to freezing rain travel conditions this morning again uh, rain changing over to freezing rain everywhere by midday. Maybe our worst conditions temperatures are going to be below freezing for everybody and we might have widespread freezing rain at that point afternoon. Still some freezing rain changing over to a little bit of sleet as well. Temperatures closely monitoring them just above freezing Milwaukee Racine Kenosha. Let's hope this hangs on as long as we can notice locations to the northwest in the 20s and teens currently in Milwaukee. Just wet roads on the Marquette interchange 33 your commute cast We'll get you out the door 31 degrees heading home 25 degrees. I got a feeling we're in for a rough travel day for today. Adriana, are you noticing any crashes out there yet this morning? Well, as of right now, Brian, no crashes across the interstate system, but just remember to take it slow as you are traveling out the door for your morning commute. Let's take a look at our metro area travel map. The roadways I see in some spots, so you're really going to want to reduce your speeds as you're traveling out the door. Now let's take a look at the roadways to the south of us. Kenosha County, Racine County, they look okay, but it's those northern counties that are experiencing maybe slicker, slick and slippery conditions out there. We're also seeing dry Drivers take it slow near the interchanges, which is what you want to do. You want to take it slow and easy near any bridges, overpasses and interchanges. They tend to freeze first. So once again, no matter where you're traveling this morning, keep it slow, increase that following distance and reduce your speeds. Adriana, people in Milwaukee should not have too many issues if they're heading out the door, as Adriana just indicated right now. That is expected to change through the morning. So our Elaine Rojas Castillo is live in Milwaukee with a closer look at what the roads are like right now and what you can expect as the day continues. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. I mean, it. I wish I could say that things would improve, but right now it looks like we're just getting a taste of just how bad it's going to be a little bit later. Right now, I'm standing at the corner of Erie and Water, right in the heart of the third ward, and it's only been getting rougher since we've been out here about 30 to 40 minutes. The rain, as you can see, is literally starting to cut into the air and the ground all around us is icy and slippery. Now, if you look around me, you can see patches of pockets of the street that have that frozen ice already on them. You can see cars are trying to slow down. We haven't really seen 
a lot of speeding. People are kind of trying to, to make their way through. We've seen two salt trucks out here trying to sort of pave the area and make sure that there's salt on the ground. But the biggest thing that we're seeing is that sort of invisible ice or I don't know if it's black ice just because of how early it is, but it's really easy to go faster than you think and kind of glide through that intersection. And again, while things are relatively calm here in Milwaukee, the forecast, just like Brian's been telling us, can change in an instant. And We Energies says that slick roads just like these can cause a lot of trouble, especially when cars lose their traction and hit a power line. Don't assume just because a power line comes down, the power has gone out. It may as part of the safety measures, but it may not. And if it's not, if that's an energized line, it's incredibly dangerous. So we're always letting people know if you see a, a power line down, stay at least 25 feet back. And if it happens to be in coming in contact with anything else, a fence, something else metal, stay away from that because it can energize anything it's touching. You know, just like Adriana mentioned, we are in the heart of downtown and while there aren't crashes right now, that doesn't mean that things are, aren't going to stay that way. So just make sure when you do head out, especially when you're hitting these streets where some of the lights are doing that, that interchanging light that they do in the middle of the night, give yourself that time, give yourself that distance so that we don't have any crashes that Adriana then has to report on. But for right now, reporting live in Milwaukee, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News, Vincent, Susan, back to you. Well, communities northwest of us dealing with a lot of ice right now. Our Andrea Albers joins us live now from Germantown with a look at conditions there. Andrea, good morning. Good morning. Yes, a lot of ice out here in Germantown. You might even be able to see the rain sticking to our camera lens a little bit here. Schools canceled in Germantown because of the icy conditions and all Milwaukee public schools. We just learned several minutes ago all Milwaukee public school buildings and activities also closed, activities canceled for today. We're going to pan and show you exactly what kind of conditions we're dealing with out here. This is the sidewalk. You can probably see the ice illuminated by the lights. There is a thick coating of ice on the sidewalks, and this is the same for the side streets. We're seeing salt trucks move by right as I'm speaking. The main roads are wet as this rain continues to come down. Not as slippery as the side streets, but it is icy out here. In fact, I'm going to uh, put the microphone down near my feet, and maybe you can hear the grass crunching. That's how icy it is. I'm not sure if you're able to hear that, but it is extremely slick out here. We're seeing drivers taking it slow, which is exactly what they need to be doing. As Adriana said a little bit earlier, we are on Mequon Road here east of Interstate uh, 41, and we'll be here in Germantown monitoring conditions throughout the morning. Uh, for now, reporting live in Germantown, Andrea Elbers, TMJ4 News. Yeah, Andrea, your shot just looks icy. Thank you. Again, dozens of schools either closed or delayed today. To find information about those districts, you can scroll at the bottom of your screen. We also have a full list of closures and delays at TMJ4.com slash closings. Racine police are investigating the death of a veteran firefighter as a homicide. Police have yet to release his name, but they say the 50 year old man worked for the Racine Fire Department for 21 years. Officers were called to the home Sunday just before noon. They found the man was not breathing. Neighbors in the area noticed the house taped off, surrounded by investigators for hours. The mayor of Racine sharing his condolences. The loss of life for anyone would be tragic this way, but to lose one of your own firefighters is just hits especially close to home, I'm sure for his family, but then also for his colleagues at the fire department who are like family. Police say they have a person of interest in custody, but no arrests have been made. They also did uh, add there is no threat to the public at this time. An investigation underway to figure out how someone was able to install a camera in a gym locker room. An employee found the camera behind a mirror at women's locker room at the Elite Sports Club in Brookfield on Friday. The gym claimed an outside contractor was the one who installed it and one person was arrested. Elite Sports Club says it is considering policy changes to try to prevent this from happening in the future. We don't know how long the camera was there nor potentially how many people were affected. It's now 509. Thanks so much for waking up with us on this busy Tuesday morning. Still to come on TMJ4 News today, a major punishment for Michigan's head basketball coach. The penalties the Big Ten handed down following this big brawl after the Wisconsin-Michigan game. We'll have that story coming up after the break. 
All right, 512 now on your Tuesday morning. Again, we're monitoring freezing rain this morning. What you're not seeing on the radar is a very fine mist out there this morning that is causing some light freezing rain accumulation, but there are some heavier showers too. One of them south side Milwaukee down towards Oak Creek. Looks like just rain right along the lakeshore, but you get out towards Franklin, maybe a bit of ice. Now that is a brief little downpour here. Let's widen the view. That's the first of what could be many. In fact, look at there's some pretty good thunderstorms that are working their way across northern Illinois this morning, and I think soon these will cross over the state line and we do see some thunder and lightning to go along with our rain showers and freezing rain showers later on this morning. Additional ice here, at least another tenth of an inch of ice on top of, I think, some locations across our northwestern spots already a tenth of an inch of ice on the ground this morning. Uh, we're going to be closely monitoring the temperatures today. We're talking temperatures that are going to hover right around freezing. If you are slightly above freezing, that will be changing very soon. I think soon everybody will be seeing this freezing rain. Coming up, guys, not only are we going to talk about about the end of this freezing rain, but potentially some snow on the seven day forecast. We'll tell you when coming up. Well, more news now at 513. Michigan's head basketball coach is out for the rest of the regular season. That suspension plus a $40,000 fine the punishment from the Big Ten for taking a swing at a Wisconsin assistant coach after Sunday's loss to the Badgers. Jawan Howard and Wisconsin head coach Greg Gard got into it during the postgame handshake line. You can see how this starts right here. Tempers flared over a timeout that Gard took late in the game when the Badgers were up by 15 points. Guard said later that he was responding to Michigan pressing Wisconsin backups. Howard eventually ended up slapping a Wisconsin assistant coach. The Big Ten also fined guard $10,000. Two Michigan players and one Badgers player were each suspended for one game. Michigan's coach is now apologizing. The school released a statement reading in part, quote, after taking time to reflect on all that happened, I realize how unacceptable both my actions and words were and how they affected so many. I am truly sorry. Again, that statement from Jawan Howard, head basketball coach for the men's team at Michigan. It's 514 up next on TMJ4 News today. A school district in Milwaukee County is changing its COVID-19 policy. What that means for students and how parents played a role in that decision when we come back. Welcome back everyone. Here's a look at some of our other top local stories this morning. A vigil will be held today for Manias Hanna. The man recently identified after a branch fell and killed him on Sunday in Brown Deer. Hanna was a local videographer and music producer. His family says the 44 year old was filming a tree cutting a tree cutting in the driveway of a home when a branch hit him on the head. Loved ones will gather tonight to commemorate him. Today, masks no longer required in the West Dallas, West Milwaukee School District. Board voted on that last night. Dozens of parents showed up to demonstrate in favor of ditching the masks. Board also decided to end quarantine requirements for close contacts without symptoms. If a school hits a 3% positivity rate, masks will return. Taking a live look outside 18 minutes after 5 on TMJ4 News today. Our current conditions in Milwaukee where it's not that bad, a little bit closer to the lake, just warm enough where overnight it yep. wasn't ice so much as it was rain. We will pass along. Uh, Milwaukee Public Schools are closed today. This is not a shifting to virtual. They're closed. No school period staff told not to report it's the good old fashioned snow day right, <laughs> right. <laughs> back without to the, the old days right without the snow this is no fun Brian. yeah and it's going to get worse today that's yeah. that's the important information here Brian yeah I think as temperatures drop another degree or two we're going to look for even Milwaukee to get icy conditions one thing that we will have going for us though for much of the day we're talking about freezing rain with a temperature around 30 degrees if it was freezing rain in like 20 degrees then the salt wouldn't work as fast and I think we'd have bigger issues but in general untreated surface are going to be awful uh, for today. Storm 4 Max radar, not a whole lot on the radar, except for we have one little isolated uh, heavier rain shower here across southern Wisconsin. Now, in between these showers, there is still a fine mist or sprinkle this morning, but uh, maybe some icing now along 41 here on the south side of Milwaukee between Franklin and Oak Creek as we widen the view out. Check this out. These are thunderstorms across northern Illinois, and soon they will be lifting into southern Wisconsin. So you can get thunder and lightning and freezing rain at the same time. Future forecast here as we go through the morning again, scattered freezing rain showers. Notice how 
Everybody changes over to that pink shade by 8 o'clock. Now look by midday. This could be our worst conditions. The most widespread freezing rain during the noon hour. As we head into the afternoon, still some light freezing rain should taper off by 6 o'clock this evening. Overnight tonight, decreasing clouds. Additional freezing rain, 10th of an inch, maybe 2 tenths of an inch of freezing rain on top of what you've already seen. Wet roads on the Marquette Interchange right now. 33 degrees, 1 degree above the freezing mark. West Bend, here's the difference. Ice and 28 degrees. As we look at the temperatures here, you got a wide range. You have 30 degrees, freezing rain in Port Washington, 30 in Brown Deer. Look out towards Beaver Dam, 16 degrees. 30 in McGuanago, 31 now in Yorkville, Racine right along the Lakeshore 34 and Kenosha above freezing at 35. Let's go through the weather headlines again. Dangerously icy, cold on the way Thursday night. We could get some snow freezing rain to eventually maybe a little sleet today up to a quarter inch of ice total for tonight. Decreasing clouds, breezy and colder down to 12. Here's your seven day forecast Wednesday, partly cloudy 23. Thursday 26 snow moves in Thursday evening through Friday morning. I know snow lovers you're waiting for this. There's a chance we get some decent accumulation Thursday night. Saturday partly cloudy 35 Sunday partly cloudy 26 and Monday mostly sunny 25 degrees. Adriana, good morning. Hopefully things stay quiet for you this morning. Yeah, that's the goal. Hopefully they do stay quiet. So as you are traveling out the door, just remember to take it slow and easy. Doesn't matter where you're traveling across southeast Wisconsin because we're seeing some slick and slippery conditions out there this morning. So let's take a look at our DOT camera. This is I 41 at Wisconsin State Highway 119. You can see on the camera a little bit of rain droplets there. So that pavement in that area Area is what here in Racine County. It looks like things are OK along this stretch of the roadway. This pavement doesn't look that wet out there. So Racine Kenosha County not seeing any too, too many issues out there, but the 894 bypass very slippery this morning. So once again, just take it slow and easy for your morning drive. Now let's take a look at just some headlines for you as you're traveling out the door. As I mentioned it, we're going to be seeing this all morning. You're going to see some wet and icy conditions out there. Reduce your speeds, increase that following distance and give yourself a few extra minutes for your morning commute. All right, sounds good, Adriana. Thank you. We want to take a moment to continue to celebrate Vince. This is Vince's last week with us at TMJ4 News. <laughs> Should really be a tight shot. Yeah, well, you're doing a nice job, Cindy. <laughs> we want your reaction. So as many of you know, he's changing airwaves, moving over to WTMJ Radio. So before we head to break, here's another well wish for Vince. Vince, congratulations. Thank you so much for both your friendship and for all of the professional advice over the past few years. I'm gonna miss you in the newsroom, but congratulations on the big move. I'm glad to know you're not going too far away. Welcome back everyone. More local news now. McGuanago wrestler Josie Stakowski is headed to state and she's competing with the boys. She'll be the first girl to ever qualify for state in WIAA Division I boys wrestling, fighting spirit and inspiration for young girls in the community. She makes me want to work harder, makes me want to like strive to be a better wrestler, better person, so they do look up to me because it really feels special to have young girls look up to me. Josie will take the mat in the historic first at the state tournament, which is at the Cole Center coming up on Thursday. It's 526. We still have a lot more news to get to this morning. Let's get to our Elaine Rojas Castillo with a look at what she's working on for 530. Elaine, good morning. Good morning, Susan. While things are calm in Milwaukee right now, that is not going to stay the same. Coming up in a few minutes, we'll go through what schools have already canceled and how Department of Public Works is trying to keep the roads clear. All the information you need to start your morning. This is TMJ4 News Today. Good morning. It's 222. It's 222, <laughs> right? Is that what it is? Just keep saying two. Gonna, yeah, it's <laughs> a lot of twos. It's February 22nd, 2002. I'm Vince Vitrano. No, it's 2022, not 2002. <laughs> <laughs> What is the date today? <laughs> Either way, make a wish today. All right, good morning. I'm Susan Kim. Yeah. People across southeast Wisconsin. I wrote that. Wait. 
Welcome to a winter <laughs> weather advisory. Maybe all the twos threw you off. This morning we are bringing you live team coverage. Brian and Adriana are here in house uh, keeping an eye on today's storm team forecast and the morning commute. We've got Andrea and Elaine out there in it with the latest on the action. Um, what's happening literally on the streets. So let's start with our Brian Nisnanski. Get you going with the forecast. Everyone wants to know how to yeah. time out their day today, Brian. We can see who's a short timer over there. Right. Right. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. It's March 5th. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's yes, the we, date? We are going to time things out. Winter weather advisory for everybody until 6 p.m. But it is a different story from in the city of Milwaukee, Racine and Kenosha compared to locations northwest of Milwaukee this morning. We had freezing rain through the night last night northwest of Milwaukee. Just plain old rain from Milwaukee, Racine and Kenosha. But that will be changing as well. Temperatures will drop another degree or two. Storm 4 max rate are really not picking up much right now. Now there is a little sprinkle or mist out there uh, in between each one of these little showers, uh, but not very heavy. What I am watching though is an area of thunderstorms across northern Illinois. This batch will be quite heavy as it moves into southeastern Wisconsin within the next hour or two. So your commute cast with the icy roadways, especially northwest of Milwaukee. We're going red light 6, 7, 8 o'clock. It is going to be a slow go this morning. Honestly, if you have the option to not drive today, today will be a good uh, day to make that decision to stay home. Temperatures across southeastern Wisconsin 34 in Racine, 35 in Kenosha above freezing. Very important. Now locations north and west below freezing. I do think everybody will dip below freezing within the next couple hours. Right now in Milwaukee, we're hanging on to 33. Let's hang on to a degree above freezing as long as we can. The next 12 hours here hovering around that freezing mark in the city of Milwaukee, but eventually I do think we do dip below freezing. Adriana Mendez is going to be monitoring our traffic all morning long. How are, how are things shaping up so far, Adriana? Well, Brian, in Milwaukee County, things are looking pretty good. We're not seeing any crashes or delays, and that's great news. That's what we love to see, especially on days like today when those weather elements just a little bit something that you have to deal with as you're traveling out the door. So here's I-43 at Mitchell Street. You can see right on that camera, it's you get the water droplets there, so there's an indicator that that stretch of the roadway is wet, and that's what you'll see primarily across the Milwaukee County area. Some spots, especially to the north and the west, you're going to see a little bit more icy conditions. And keep in mind, if you are walking to the bus stop, any spots that are untreated, you might have some slick and slippery conditions out on the sidewalk as well. So just no matter where you're traveling today, give yourself some extra time for your drive out there. All right, quick look at some drive times for you. Looks like everything is in the green, but just because drivers are able to travel at posted speeds, you're going to still want to reduce your speeds for your morning commute. 533 right now areas northwest of the city are particularly icy. Our Andrea Albers joins us live now from Germantown with a closer look at conditions there. Andrea, good morning. Good morning to you both. You're absolutely right. It is very icy out here. In fact, the rain continues to come down and freeze as soon as it's hitting the surface. You might see it on our camera lens, but we want to pan and show you what the sidewalks are looking like this morning out here in Germantown. Perhaps you can see the glare from the streetlights. It is a solid sheet of ice. In fact, the grass alongside the sidewalk, it crunches when you walk on it. That's how thick and heavy the ice is here this morning. As we pulled off onto a side street, our vehicle started sliding and we were driving incredibly slow. Drivers here do seem to be taking their times. The main roadways are wet, not as icy as the side streets, and we have seen several salt trucks move through this morning. We're standing here on Mequon Road in Germantown. We're just east of Interstate 41. The main message here, though, for drivers this morning, if you have to travel, plan for plenty of extra time and take it incredibly slow. We'll continue to bring updates here from Germantown throughout the morning. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio, Susan and Vince. All right, Andrea Albers live for us. Thank you very much. We're starting to get more school closures new this morning. Milwaukee Public Schools are closed today because of the winter weather advisory. The district making that decision shortly before five o'clock this morning. More and more suburban yeah. districts are now following suit, so you want to keep up on uh, TMJ4.com. You have a full list right there. Elaine Rojas Castillo live with what parents need to know and how the city is getting ready for a growingly messy morning. Hi, Elaine. Good morning, Vince and Susan. That's right. I mean, being in Milwaukee right now, you think it'd be really calm. There's not a ton of wind, but this freezing rain is coming down quick and it's also freezing very, very quickly. I want to pan over to the road all across this little intersection that we're in. We're at Erie and 
water in the third ward. All these little pockets of puddles right here are completely frozen over. The sidewalk all around us, when I took a step, I almost fell. That's how icy it is here. Now, the City of Milwaukee Department of Public Works says that its crews began salting at 9 p.m. last night. And since then, both residential and main streets have been covered. And now their teams are gearing up for the rush hour traffic. Now, because of this weather, as Susan and Vince mentioned, all Milwaukee public schools will be closed today and all after school activities will be canceled. Now, another place that announced a cancellation was the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee, who announced that all face to face classes starting before 9 a.m. this morning are canceled, but that its online courses will go on as scheduled. Now, these cancellations are just part of the unpredictability of severe weather, which we energy says can make preparing for it all the more difficult. Yeah, the thing that's maybe trickier about freezing rain and some other type of uh, precipitations is that if it, let's say, ices on a tree branch, it can really weigh that tree branch down. And that's when you might have some issues where tree branches can fall. And that tends to be the biggest impact we have is other things coming in contact with our power lines. I um, mean, so that is certainly something that we're keeping an eye on. Now, again, we'll be out all morning monitoring this situation, but for now, we're going to toss it back to Susan and Vince in the studio. All right, Olen, appreciate the update. And we also got an update from the Milwaukee Department of Public Works at 520 saying that a citywide salting operation began at 9 o'clock last night. And since then, crews have completed both residential and main streets are now readdressing those main routes to get ready for rush hour traffic. You can also stay up to date with the latest weather developments in your area by downloading the Storm Shield app. Now, happening today, the man accused of shooting and killing a 16 year old inside the Burger King is scheduled for arraignment today. Derek Ellis charged with killing Naisha Harris last month during an attempted robbery at 51st and Capitol. He turned himself into police January 18th. A judge ordered Ellis to be held on $30,000 cash bond. 537 today masks are no longer required in the West Dallas West Milwaukee School District. The board made that decision last night. Dozens of parents showed up to demonstrate in favor of ditching those masks. The board also decided to end quarantine requirements for close contacts without symptoms. If a school hits a 3% positivity rate, masks will then return to the district. 538 on TMJ4 News today. Nice to have you up early with us. Still to come, Aaron Rodgers with a cryptic Instagram post. What does it all mean? Well, we'll tell you what it said and what people think it could mean for the future of the Green Bay Packers. All right, 541 now on your Tuesday morning. Again, we're monitoring the ice this morning. There's a good chance your car's parked outside. You need that ice scraper for several extra minutes, especially if you're west and north of the city of Milwaukee. But we are going to start to see a glaze here in the city of Milwaukee as well. Storm 4 Max radar, not much showing up here on the radar. But what isn't showing up is a very fine mist or drizzle this morning. That is freezing drizzle for most of southeastern Wisconsin. We are watching thunderstorms that are working their way through northern Illinois. And these thunderstorms are going to lift into southeastern Wisconsin. Yeah, we could see some thunder and some lightning with this as well. Here's your commute cast as we get out the door this morning. Freezing rain, temperature around freezing by this afternoon, 28 degrees. It's going to be a rough day today. We'll let you know when we're expecting the heaviest freezing rain coming up, guys. OK, we'll be staying on top of that with you. Thanks so much, Brian. 542 new this morning. A mysterious post from Packers star quarterback Aaron Rodgers has a lot of folks questioning his future with the Packers this morning. And just last night, he posted a series of photos, the first being with supposed ex fiance Shailene Woodley. The caption had many people wondering whether they might still be together. <laughs> but the last several photos there, Rodgers posing with teammates and even missing from this last photo, has people wondering if this was a goodbye to the Packers. He said of his team, quote, I love you guys and cherish the memories we've made, end quote. No confirmation on his status with the Green Bay Packers, but this post certainly is stirring up a lot of conversation. Why can't he just tell us? Well, I expect is. his next public comments to be like, people took this out of context and drew all these conclusions. I don't know, man. Coming up next on TMJ4 News Today, the Russia-Ukraine tensions continue. The announcement President Biden expected to make today and how the growing tensions will impact prices here in the U.S. 
Now to the latest in the Russia-Ukraine standoff. President Joe Biden set to announce new sanctions against Russia today. The administration signed an executive order late Monday night prohibiting investment, trade, and financing by American companies in two Ukrainian provinces. Putin declared those two areas independent and ordered more troops to move into them. The White House will speak with NATO about other possible sanctions. Coming up on the Today Show this morning, NBC's Richard Engel will be live from Ukraine. You can catch his latest report right here on TMJ4. Now, let's take a live look right now. Germantown, communities across our area feeling the effects of the cold and icy weather. As you take a look at that sidewalk, right? Just pretty good gl picture. <laughs> just glistening, mm -hmm. telling you the story of the morning. We are starting to get more school closings as well. We want to pass on that Franklin, Wauwatosa, Menominee Falls School Districts all just announcing that they will be closed today because of the weather. That's in addition to Milwaukee Public Schools. We heard from them uh, shortly before uh, 5 o'clock this morning, Brian. It is old-fashioned school closings, back to the olden days yes. when the schools would close, not be virtual, anything like that, but closed. Ha have a has snow day, but the worst is no snow. <laughs> kids can't even enjoy it. You right. know what it's I mean? It's not what like fun. Do? You don't go sledding. I could have, actually, I can see my six-year-old trying to, like, slide on her belly in the, in the driveway or something. Hopefully not. Don't do that, Olivia, yeah. if you're watching. All right, here we go. Uh, here's your sidewalk forecast, and it's pretty easy here. If you have wet pavement now, it is soon going to be very icy, already icy for our northwestern spots that we just saw in Germantown. All right, let's take a look here. Storm 4 Max radar, what we're not seeing on the radar is a very fine, low-level mist drizzle this morning. And then there's some heavier shower action that's moving in here from the southwest. Going to focus on Lake Geneva, Delavandarian. Very soon, look for this batch of what is fairly heavy freezing rain moving in here from the southwest. We go even farther south. These are thunderstorms across northern Illinois, and I got a feeling we're going to start to see some thunder and some lightning soon in Walworth County, Kenosha County within the next half hour to an hour. Future forecast for today by 830. Looks like everybody by then in the pink, so we will be dipping below that freezing mark uh, by 7, 8 o'clock here in Milwaukee. Future forecast, maybe the worst of this, maybe the heaviest, steadiest uh, freezing rain will be around midday today. This is 1230 on future forecast. Still some light freezing rain around 4 o'clock. I think by 6 o'clock we're done. Skies will start to clear out overnight tonight. Future ice, maybe another tenth of an inch of freezing rain on top of what you've already seen. Some of our northwestern spots already approaching a tenth of an inch of freezing rain. Currently in Milwaukee, we have again just a little bit of a mist or drizzle, 33 degrees, just above freezing. So technically still just plain old rain, but there could be, you know, maybe like the tops of cars or untreated sidewalks, maybe starting to get a little bit icy. Waukesha, the camera's iced over, 28 degrees, so certainly freezing rain there. And a closer look across southeastern Wisconsin, really, you get outside of the city and we're now dipping below freezing. Oak Creek at 32, West Dallas at 31 degrees. Let's go through the weather headlines again. Dangerously icy today, cold on the way. Thursday night, we get some snow. All right, your forecast for today, freezing rain to sleet up to a quarter inch total of ice, decreasing clouds, breezy and colder with a low of 12. Here's your seven day, 23 on Wednesday, 26 on Thursday. Got a pretty good chance for some snow starting Thursday evening through Friday morning. Temperatures in the 20s. 35 on Saturday, 26 Sunday, and 25 on Monday. Still so far so good out on the roads, Adriana? Yeah, so far no crashes out on the roadways, which is great news. But no matter where you're traveling, you're going to really want to slow it down and add on some additional time. Now, according to the Milwaukee Department of Public Works, they started their anti-icing preparations last night around 9 p.m. They worked on the main roads, the side streets, and now they say that they're going to continue to work on those main roads this morning right before. But ooh, take a look at this. This is in the Gurkies Corner area. You can't even see that that camera because of the wet, how wet it is and because of the, it looks like that's frozen over there. So well, this is what you're going to see here. Look at this is this near the Pewaukee area. It looks like this camera it was wet and now that is frozen over as well. So this is what you're going to see out on the roadway, slick and slippery conditions. So you're really going to want to take it so, slow and easy for your morning commute and throughout the afternoon. Much for that update there, Adriana. So uh, this is Vince's last week with us at TMJ4 News. Not sure if you have heard, but he is changing airwaves, moving over to WTMJ Radio. So before we head to break, we have another message of congratulations for Vince. Vince, longevity is something you do not hear often in this business, right? 
I have no doubt your family is so proud of you right now. I know we all are. While you aren't leaving these ungodly hours, I don't know how you did that, I know you're going to continue to shine bright here in Milwaukee. Your presence in the newsroom is going to be sorely missed. Your drumming, maybe I won't miss that. Singing, he has a beautiful voice, ladies and gentlemen, and holding court with little skits, keeping some of us on deadline and stressed out somehow laughing out loud. I will miss that a lot. It's 554. Pandemic related problems have created a recipe for inflated food prices at the grocery store. That's probably not news to you, yeah. but you don't have to be a coupon clipper to save money. Our consumer investigator Kristen Burns shows shoppers ways to get around those price hikes. Lowering your grocery bill is a lot easier if you skip the meat. Data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics shows most meat products like pork, chicken, and beef have seen double-digit price hikes when you compare this January to January of 2021, whereas potatoes, tomatoes, cheese, and tea went up 1% or lower. There's an awful lot of labor involved in processing of meat. Dean LeBlanc so is a professor of supply chain management at Milwaukee Area Technical Products College. Like he explains price hikes differ for food groups because it's costing more money to get some products to the grocery store compared to others. The pandemic has only heightened that. Labor and raw materials and logistical costs, right? Supply chain costs, energy costs. All of these factors are inputs to the food that we consume. If meat is a staple in your house, LeBlanc recommends planning out your weekly meals with whatever is on sale at the grocery store. If pork loin, for example, is on special this week, make sure that you plan to incorporate pork loin into your menu once or twice throughout the week. He adds avoiding pre-made foods at the deli and bakery will also cut down costs. In some cases, those pre-made foods relative to you buying the ingredients in the store are up to four or five times higher. And buying generic will bring your bill down. LeBlanc says even if store brand food prices go up, there's still a noticeable cost difference between name brand and generic. If you aren't budgeting for higher prices with your grocery haul, it may be time to start. Unfortunately, in all this, we are not at the peak. We, we are roughly uh, 12 to 18 months out before consumers see any type of real relief. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne. Appreciate those tips there, Kristen. Thank you. It's 556. We do have a lot more news coming up on TMJ4 News today at 6 o'clock. Up next, more Vince content for you as we get ready to wish him well as he moves on to WTMJ. Please Radio. watch anyway. <laughs> We're going to take a look at Vince's time here at TMJ4 throughout the years, just after 6.20 this morning.